Paul Wheaton here for the Tackle Direct Pro Staff. We are live in Orlando, Florida at ICAST 2014. Now? Huh? Right now, it's day three. We're at the Blackfin Rods booth. Blackfin does a lot of made in USA, custom quality rods, but they have a lot of production builds. We've got a lot of really cool stuff from Blackfin on our website. We got a lot of cool stuff that we're gonna check out right here, right now. Let's take a look. Live at the Blackfin Rod booth here at ICAST 2014. I'm Paul Whedon from the Tackle Direct Pro Staff, and we're talking dredge fishing. We're here with Alan Winchell. Alan, what's happening, man? Good morning, how you doing? Doing very well. Tell us a little bit about, it looks like you, you've got a few different options. You're, you are, and Blackfin Rods really has always been known of a, of a semi-custom shop. Correct. And tell us about some of the options that you're giving Well, I fish a lot. I'm in the know, I'm in the stores. I know what's going on. Yep. Um, dredge fishing may be new to a lot of you, but realistically, 20, 30 years ago, the guys in Fort Pierce in South Florida started dredge fishing, especially in our dead bait tournaments. Yes. And it's really starting to catch on worldwide uh, versus just pulling lures. Now you're actually teasing the fish in, and you, you really need a special piece to pull the dredges. There's, they're very heavy. They're pulling singles, doubles, even triples sometimes, plus your, day, you know, your chains. So teasing the fish in is really, it's almost like the circle hook. Obviously it was used 100 years ago, went away, you know, commercial fishing obviously, but as far as wreck fishing, sport fishing, guys were not using circle hook. Now a lot of bait tournaments, we have to use circle hook. So this all falls into line when you're dredge fishing. There's a couple different options. There's obviously multiple reels out there to use for your dredge fishing. So make sure you get the right butt to go with that reel and also tip. There's um Let's talk butt for a second, okay. just to touch on it. You know, I, I think if you're going with the bigger Lingren Pittmans, reels if, like that. If you're gonna go LP, Daiwa 3000, yep. um, the Hooker Electric, number four butt. Gotta have it. You're buying a three to $5,000 reel. You're putting hundreds of dollars worth of line on it. You're putting $1,000 worth of dredge material on there. Go with the big butt. Go with the big butt, go with your number four butt. We, now we still though, we, we've got a lot of customers who are doing very well. They're running a 50 or an 80 wide reel or even a Penn Senator with your strip dredges or your artificial dredges. Right, your much lighter pieces, um, especially a center console guy. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, we don't have the money. Very expensive to get into that game. So we are gonna have a very a lower end piece number two butt and with a different top on it that they can pull that dredge so they're not investing a lot of money in that piece that's perfect tell us a little bit about the different tip options the standard for pretty much ever has always been the afco swivel top um, it swivels basically it's going to be about 45 degrees, nine, almost 90, or um, it's not totally 180, but it's kind of about 30 to 40 degrees each way. Okay. Most dredges are running up. Th right this rod is typically in your bridge or your, your ladder area, going to your tower, going up pulley systems into your riggers. Mm -hmm. So you don't need a long rod. You don't need guides on here. It's better to have a short rod. Right, it's much more maneuverable. It's easier for the mate and the guys to grab it. Um, obviously you're gonna have your auto stops. So the other piece, and many years ago, uh, also with Winthrop, Fred designed a kite top. I kept bugging him, hey, let's make a kite top, a kite top that's not gonna go away because kite tops were failing, they're falling apart. So that's because there's swivels and hardware going There's through. hardware coming through it, they get dropped, they're typically heavy reels getting dropped and bushed, you know, and dropped around. So this piece is was originally designed for kite fishing, which we still use. Show the entry in there. But dredge fishing on dredge rods is pretty much a uh, it's a great piece. Yeah. It it's not it can't get damaged, it's not gonna go away. Even storing it, dropping it, you're not gonna hurt this it's piece. It's more or less a 360 degree tip. So no matter what right. angle that line is coming off of the rod tip. You have no issues there No at issue all. whatsoever. If it goes straight up like a kite, you're fine. If it goes out to the side, the side with the dredge. 45, you're good. 
That's really cool. Well, some really innovative stuff. Alan, thanks so much for bringing it to us. It's a great product. We've been using it for a while and loving it. Stay tuned for more. We're still checking out Blackfin products. We're still going to keep bringing videos to you. Check it out right here, right now.